Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from Central Illinois, where a pair of four-wheel drive tractors teamed up with Krauss Dominators are working on fall tillage. This primary tillage pass is being performed by a McConnell Mark 1000 tractor and a Massey Ferguson 4880 tractor. In this video, we're going to take a look at how these two tractors are related, as well as their specifications and original price tag. We'll also have an opportunity to climb up in the cab of the Massey Ferguson 4880 four-wheel drive tractor. But first, let's head out to the field to see and hear these big machines at work. The McConnell Mark 1000 tractor was manufactured in Kinston, North Carolina from 1991 through 1994. It was manufactured by Ward McConnell and named after his son, Mark. Interestingly, Ward McConnell is the former CEO and a current board member of the Artsway Farm Equipment Manufacturing Company, and his son, Mark, is the current chairman of Artsway. Ward McConnell started his tractor line by acquiring the design from the Massey Combines Corporation. He moved the production of the tractors from Brantford, Ontario to Kinston, North Carolina. The tractor line included a Model 900, 990, and 1000. The Massey Combines Corporation was started when the company was spun off as an independent manufacturer from Massey Ferguson. Massey Ferguson had been building articulated four-wheel drive tractors in Brantford, Ontario since the mid-1970s. In the mid-1980s, when Massey Ferguson, like many other tractor makers of the time, fell on financial hardship, the company decided to spin off its combine division and four-wheel drive tractor line, which were built in Branford. Massey Combines Corporation was an independent company that manufactured combines and articulated four-wheel drives and exclusively distributed them under the Massey Ferguson label through the Massey Ferguson dealership network. Massey Ferguson Combines Corporation, unfortunately, was a short-lived venture. The company not only inherited the popular Massey Ferguson Combine line and four-wheel drive tractor series, but it also took on all of Massey Ferguson's corporate debt. This small company, with a large amount of debt, eventually had to sell off its assets. 
The combine production in Brantford, Ontario was sold to the Western Combine Corporation and Ward McConnell acquired the four-wheel drive tractor design in 1989. Ward McConnell began manufacturing four-wheel drive tractors in Kinston, North Carolina in 1989. The first tractors were painted in Massey Ferguson red and sold as the Massey Ferguson 5200. The Massey Ferguson 5200 manufactured by Ward McConnell was rated at 390 horsepower and exclusively distributed under the Massey Ferguson name through their dealership network. By 1991, the sales had not materialized that McConnell had hoped for, and he decided to sell his tractor independently. The red paint of Massey Ferguson was replaced by a new yellow paint, and the McConnell Mark 1000 was rolled out in 1991. Ward McConnell worked with Roger Penske, who had recently acquired Detroit Diesel, to put a Detroit Diesel 60 11.1 liter 677 cubic inch engine in the tractor, which was rated at 425 horsepower. The McConnell Mark 1000 features a gear drive, 12 forward, and 4 reverse speed transmission. It weighed in at 27,000 pounds from the factory and can be field weighted up to 36,000 pounds. It features a 190-gallon diesel fuel tank, and the original price tag of this tractor was $130,000. In the early 1990s, you could actually equip this tractor with a mobile phone, and many people lined up at farm show events like Empire Farm Days just to climb in the cab and make a call from the tractor's phone. In 1994, the four-year-old Agco Corporation was looking to expand its tractor line into articulated four-wheel drives and acquired the McConnell Mark 1000 tractor line from Ward McConnell. Production moved from Kingston, South Carolina to Coldwater, Ohio, where the new Agco Star four-wheel drive tractor began rolling out of the well-known New Idea farm equipment plant. The 4880 four-wheel drive tractor was manufactured in Brantford, Ontario from 1979 through the mid-1980s by Massey Ferguson. At that time, the company spun off its four-wheel drive tractors and combine production to the Massey Combines Corporation, and the 4880 remained in production until it was replaced by the Model 5200 in 1989. The tractor features an eight-cylinder, 14.8-liter Cummins VT903 engine. It is 903 cubic inches and rated at 320 engine horsepower and 270 PTO horsepower. It features a partial power shift transmission with 18 forward and 6 reverse speeds. It's equipped with a 190 gallon diesel fuel tank and an optional 1000 RPM PTO is available for an additional price of $3,139. The 4880 rolled out of the factory weighing 26,930 pounds and could be field weighted up to 32,500 pounds. The original price tag for a Massey Ferguson 4880 when it was brand new was $110,232. The 4880 four-wheel drive tractor was a strong seller for Massey Ferguson in the late 1970s and early 1980s. It really stood up against other competitive makes and was a top seller ranking up there with Steiger, Versatile, and GI Case, who were other leading four-wheel drive manufacturers at the time. John Deere, International Harvester, White Farm Equipment, and Alice Chalmers were also building articulated four-wheel drives during that time period. The Massey Ferguson's large spacious cab, the partial power shift transmission, and large horsepower rating really made this tractor a popular item for farmers in North America. Let's climb up in the cab of the tractor now so you can see and hear what it's like to roll across the field in a 4880.
I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in the central Illinois field, seeing these large four-wheel drive tractors at work, and learning about their history and connections. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, I hope you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well, so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.